À, cảm ơn các bạn đã join uh, The Nail Tip Show đến với một thêm một buổi The Facebook Live hôm nay. Hôm nay sẽ chia sẻ với các bạn một vài kiểu uh, Christmas design. À, thì các bạn cũng biết là tháng 12 rồi Noel cũng sắp tới thì uh, em cũng muốn chia sẻ vài cái căn bản những cái 3D nếu mà những các bạn mà có uh, thích làm 3D thì hôm nay nhớ share dùm em cái, cái cái live này để cho các bạn khác cũng làm nail thì cùng tới và tune in và uh, cùng học hỏi với nhau ha. So cảm ơn các bạn. Hôm nay em rất là vui mừng tại vì em đã mời được con gái uh, tới để làm cái live với em. Thì đây là con gái lớn của em, Tiffany. Tiffany say hi. Hi everyone. <cười> Um, so excited to be on the show today. I'm gonna help you, or I'm gonna help my mom here, um, take your comments and definitely read that to her so she can help answer any of your questions. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments um, in our Facebook Live and also share the video because we're really excited to have you guys here today. <laughs> Thank you. So that's my daughter. Uh, so let's jump right in. I don't want to waste you guys time. So I have prepared a few of the uh, few of the designs uh, just to show you it, whether you want to keep it basic, very simple, or you want to take it up a little notch or to uh, you know to do on your clients. Let me show you if you could see here on the screen. I have prepared three of these. I just figure if you want a simple like I find like just just a little petal and. Um, the berries on top of it it's just simple but it's like a classic look for Christmas or if you want to make it more poinsettias I find this this is nice too for those clients that wanted some 3ds but they want it really flat then these are um, this one is just perfect but if you want to kind of like you know step it up a little bit um, I'm gonna share with you this look too with some pearls or crystals and then you just kind of it's a different look uh, uh, poinsettias. I mean, you know, like roses I have pe shared with you in the past before, but I thought, I thought since with this Christmas, I thought poinsettias is such a, a, a great symbol for Christmas. So, yeah, um, I have done this 3D look before. If you guys haven't seen it, it's on, on YouTube, the Nail Tip Show on YouTube. So, you can definitely go and check that out because I have done where flat 3D's roses to like more like show you how arrange the kind of like more pop-up as well yeah so if you can miss that like i said you can go on youtube uh and moon say hi to sonia hi sun hi kate and brenda uh thank you for tuning in please share the vi uh, this video this live i mean so everybody can tune in and uh, join us okay so yeah let's get started um let me think what why don't I start out the easiest since um, just for some of you that just starting out uh, that you guys don't know um, how to, you know, this is a good way to start out. I'm the phone, I'm sorry, give me a second. Uh, give, give me a second. Like a phone call. Uh, honey. Hi, Clara. This is for you. You requested it, so I hope you enjoy it. Please share the video. Um, Ok, so I'm gonna take, like I said, em sẽ làm một cái, cái kiểu này trước Em nghĩ rất là nhanh và dễ là tại vì uh, Nếu mà cái, các bạn muốn làm một cái uh, design Mà cho khách hàng start out 3D This is a good way of doing it So basically it's just like a leaf You know, with berries So cái này là dễ nhất So em có làm cái này Actually I have done this before too um, I actually did this last year um, but I just want to show you, you can take the same thing that I have done here and transfer it to make it more pop out. I know these are not as realistic, but it's so great to look at and it's kind of fun to do a few samples just for your client to see. So nếu mà các bạn muốn làm thử cái, mấy cái kiểu này là em làm trước, nếu mà các bạn mà muốn um, tập á, while you're practicing, this is a great way to put it together. But I'm gonna show you the basic techniques how to do this too, okay? Um, yeah, I know, I'm excited too. So let me just start with this. So that way, just for in case some of you um, want to start out something simple, okay? So what I have done here, just I prepare a, um, a nail for you. So em sẽ làm một cái simple, huh? So hôm nay em sẽ dùng hai cái, hai cái màu green này. Do you want to tell them the colors while I'm prepping? So what we have here for you guys is this olive color. This olive um, nice color is called the Olive R Twist. And this really beautiful kind of um, closer to neon green is called Lime in the Coconut, which is 
kind of sounds fun. <laughs> um, very similar to the song, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, those, those are a couple of the green colors that we had today in and the, the red. design. Oh, and this really beautiful, very vibrant um, red that we have right here is very fitting for the design. It's called Santa Baby. I think um, once you have the design and you put it on the nail, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, and all these uh, uh, the acrylic are from uh, DCH, acrylic blending system. If you get inter interested, there's a, uh, we have the nailtipshop.com. You can check some of the collection out, okay? Những cái màu hôm nay em xài là màu của Danny Huỳnh ha um, Làm cho... để làm 3D ha So cái bột này có thể làm dip với làm 3D hay là làm đắp bột cũng được Thì hôm nay em sẽ bắt đầu trước ha So let's just say you have... You don't... You know, I did this... You know, you can have a design But if, let's just say in a salon You can just put a little bit of color And just randomly just put some glitter And that would be perfect too I just want to show you don't have to go all out crazy and you know, so yeah, let me show you this. So to start off, uh, là em sẽ lấy cái 3D, hôm nay em sẽ dùng cái 3D brush của Cooper ha, mà em cũng có trong website too, nếu mà các bạn muốn um, mua thử mà xài. I love this 3D brush, it's really nice. So bây giờ em bắt đầu làm cái, 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 cái lá trước. So I start off with the leaf, okay? I'm gonna start off with the leaf. And just to show you, just a couple... So làm cái 3D này á, like các bạn, the, the first thing you really have to learn to work with your liquid and monomer and keep that consistency. So I'm gonna dab a little bit just so it won't be as runny. And I'm just gonna place it right there. So as you're placing it, try to kind of give it a couple seconds and then kind of đè nó xuống ha. Then kind of using the tip of the brush and mold and slowly mold them to the shape that you want. Đó, các bạn lấy cái cọ ha. Các bạn đã. So yeah, say hi to Taylor and Hilda. Huh? Hi guys! <laughs> so glad you guys enjoyed us. Um, just to let you guys know, you guys, if you guys don't want to miss any videos that we are going to be having at the Nail Tip Show, you guys can definitely get um, tap on the button that says get notified. So every time we have a, sh a show, you guys will never miss it. The noti uh, Facebook will send you a notification saying that we are live right now. Yeah, thank you. So các bạn mới đang vô coi là em mới lấy một cục hai màu. So basically, để em làm cái lá này trước để cho bây giờ. So basically you use the tip of the brush, yeah? mình đè nó xuống ha. Uh -huh. And then you use the edge, the side, and then just kind of pull that out to the shape that you want. First, you just want to use the tip of the brush and just kind of like slowly drag it and fold it and just kind of press it down to the shape that you want. And then what I do is I, I, I constantly wipe my brush and lúc nào cũng phải giữ cái cọ sạch đó Xong bắt đầu em lấy cái, 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 cái góc cái đầu cọ em đè nó xuống Đó, ha. đó mình làm cái cho nó ngấn chút xíu So mình cứ lấy And then this is a cute, good tip for you Mới mà start đi 3D đó. Tại các bạn mà pull nó up á Nó có cái, cái, cái definition of the leaf So mình phải làm kéo nó lên chút xíu like, Pull it up. You don't want to pull all the way up because you do want to keep it flat, but at the same time you want to kind of raise it a little bit just so it gives a little definition. Because if you keep it all flat, it's just really too flat and it looks boring. Huh? Các bạn phải bỏ chút xíu cho nó đè. Lúc mà cái 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 bột nó còn nó còn hơi ướt đó, mình đừng có để nó khô quá. That's why các bạn làm tươi đi, các bạn phải tập cái nước với lại cái cái bột bột của mình phải tập quen lấy quen đã. So basically, let me show you before, just for those that are starting out to do 3D Thường thường á, làm 3D lúc nào cũng phải cần 2-3 màu Thì cái phối hợp với nhau thì cái màu nó mới ra đẹp Nó mới pop cái màu So you need at least two, average two I find that it, it needs color to to kind of play with each other And to give more definition and just kind of enhance the colors much better When you do versus one uh, I mean you practice with one is great but it's always better to do uh, two to three color. But the easiest way to do is just pull. Okay, let me um, uh, let me let me just see. I have a liquid right here. I'm using just regular monomer. But um, if the weather a little bit too cold for you, if the the liquid a little bit runny, you can add slightly a little bit of acetone. 
slightly because you don't want um, too much acetone then the, the powder gonna get cracked eventually so you don't want to do that but you can uh, add like I said slightly acetone just so then you can um, kind of um, doesn't make it look as more runny for you so grab that leg it and so you want to do it and just draw lightly out and double dip that means you just kind of you either tap twice or you dip it to get to the ball you want and then dip like that and if you want to do it twice so every time you go down one more then you pick up a little bit more color that's as basic as I can tell you uh, Alejandra asked are you using acrylic yes this is a DCH I'm using DCH acrylic blending system which also f uh, good for dipping and acrylic meaning you can use this powder to do dipping as well as 3d or any acrylic applications um, so I like this powder from DCH for that reason it's just like you can it's multi-use so I'm using these two color to do the leaf um, uh, I'm using right now, I'm actually using Koopa. So I use, um, but today, look, I'm using Koopa liquid, okay? So just for you guys interested. But yeah, so but you see that by using two color, I'm trying to break it down as easy as possible, just in case some of you that really have no experience with 3D, and then you can get frustrated. It, it does get kind of like frustrated at first. Don't get me wrong, it took me a long time to master what I'm doing but you know you the more you do it the more it gets better but the key here is to practice with the monomer stick to the monomer and the liquid that you are comfortable with and then go from there and then just kind of take your creativity you know along and you know you get used to the acrylic and monomer okay so right. get bad by Alejandra that. also asked what brush are you using uh, I'm using this is uh, available on the nail tip shop as well but this is Koopa the 3d brush I love this brush because you know I worked for Koopa before so I've been using their product for a long time and they really have good product as well so you know if you guys like it well, like I said we have it on the nail tip shop if you get interested I like it because the key here is the brush is pretty flat it's small and the it have really nice point so then it's really easy for you to do all the 3d works okay so yeah um, let's move on okay so be your antiseptic to like a um, like a monomer huh? dip in so I usually tap if you, I like more of the light color then I tap twice see then I tap twice see to get a little bit more and then I tap once or if I like the little dark green more I tap twice so the more you tap into it the more you get a little bit more powder so then I set it I just leave it and then I forgot to dab it out because this is a little bit too runny too I usually go on a towel and kind of drain the liquid out a little bit but it's okay hi Tan how are you em <laughs> so yeah let me okay so bây giờ mình tiếp tục mình làm mình kéo nó ra ha as you lay it down mình muốn kéo cái bột nó ra the way you want it. So when you lay down, make sure you point, drag the powder out to the shape that you want. So that way it's easier. Okay. Yeah. So I always kind of like split it in half in a way. I'm not splitting in like half half, but I'm almost like doing that because that way the the powder kind of even out on both sides and let me press and spread out the powder. Okay, and they are not soon. But oh, and then I after I'm done when it's almost dry, then I give it a little bit of definition. Okay. Just another point I want to give you too: if you do too much of the acetone, it dry really hard and crunchy. That's why because you add too much acetone, so don't do that because it's gonna get cracked easily when you do that. Okay, so yeah. And and not hung up as flexible, not hung up uh, uh, bendable when you add too much acetone to it. So that's another way to practice. Uh, hi Tammy, hi. So bây giờ thí dụ mình muốn bỏ như vậy, ok? Em làm hai cái hai cái lá rồi ha. Nếu mà em hài lòng thì thôi. So giống như cái này thì em sẽ let me show you. Giống như cái này thì em làm là nó 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 bự hơn. Okay, so um, you know it's smaller. That's fine. I mean, you could add more leaves if I can, but I'm just trying to show you just to take the basic, you know, and then you can move on to something more. So, but yeah, and 
còn cái cái um, cái cái hột uh, holly berry uh, mình làm rất rất là dễ so basically let me show you let me show you how I dip the red so you can see how I do the the okay so let me show you the red okay so let me dip that twice and then just a little bit and then I put it on a towel kind of drain it out a little bit and then pick it up real quick and then place it on here it, it will become a little ball almost instantly every time because that's just the way the products work you just kind of place it wherever you want and that's it and then if as you put it on and you find that it's not as round as you want you can use the tip of the brush and just kind of mold them to a little bit more like a ball đó lúc mà em thả nó xuống cái lá cái cái nó tại nếu mà các bạn mà lấy lên á mà không có cho nó uh, xuống cái 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 giấy á thì nó sẽ nó sẽ toa ra thành cái ball mà nó flat so to keep it round you kind of phải để lên cái giấy này cho nó drain ra mấy cái liquid xong bắt đầu mình mới bỏ lên được that's how you make into the berry ha huh? Sonia said she loves our 3D designs mm -hmm. and Claire also said it's so perfect yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, that's how I, I want to give you more really like a basic techniques when you do this because understand monomer and powder and how it works, how it set is very important, okay? So em ráng try to chia sẻ với bạn, các bạn cặn kẽ lúc mình làm 3D, cái cách mình lấy bột, các bạn mình, các bạn mình nhúng vô bột hay là các bạn thấm nó xuống sao nó rất là quan trọng là tại vì à, nó mới thành cái cái design mà mình muốn đó. So bây giờ em so that way ba cái cục này nó thành giữ thành ba cái cái uh, cái hột um, berries ha. So nó không có loan ra tất cả chung với nhau. So nó thành three separate berries. So cái này cũng vậy em làm á. See the berries here that I did. See you see it. I did the same thing. I pick it up. I, I, I lay on the towel and I pick it back up and put and to give it a little more definition what I did on top of it is that I put a little bit of just uh, top coat on top of the, the berry only so that way it gives like a shine definition so yeah that's how you do it so mình làm như vậy mình bỏ tí thường thường tui đi mình không có bỏ top coat ở trên là tại vì mình bỏ lên thì nó sẽ dẹp cái cái tui đi nó không có thấy mấy cái ngấn của cái tui đi bông hay là cái đó, so mình chỉ uh, bỏ on top thôi, chấm nó lên thôi, rồi so nó thành một cái um, một cái bóng thì nó thành cái 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 nó 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 sẽ đẹp hơn. So see as you can see, if I don't put the top coat, it looks fine, but if I put it, it gives a little more like definition and shine to it. So it's that's how the presentation of it is very important, just as much as you know how to build 3 D nail art. So yeah, cái cách mình làm. So yeah, that's just a basic, okay? So that's why I want to give, I share that. So bây giờ, I want to ask you to, you guys, which design you want me to share today? This one or this one? Because I don't think it's going to take you so long to learn. But up to you, you guys. Number. You can one. one number one or number two. One, two. One, two. <laughs> so I give you get three seconds while I'm preparing a nail for you guys. Okay. All right, guys. Feel free to um, comment down number one or number two if you guys want to see which um, design. Clara said number one. All right. Okay. John said hi. Hi, John. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we have lots of options. I mean, two options for you guys today. Very different designs, mm -hmm. but which one do you guys want to see? One wow, or two? Two. Wow. <laughs> okay. Two. Two, so two has more voted. But Claire, don't worry. Um, Clara, so don't worry. If you know how to do um, number two and a one, it's basically the same thing. It's just how you arrange it on top of the nail is really the matters here. But I will show you number one as well because you know why? Uh, the reason is that you sort of have to do number one in order to do number two. So let me, I'll figure it out. Okay, so basically this is what you do. Um, if, okay. Um, let me show. Okay, for this look, let me give. Let me start out the basic. So basically, I'm just putting out green. The reason I'm doing that just kind of give like a green background. Just pretend I have leaves and you know like 
you know those green picks you know like that so underneath the nail so then I'm just doing the basic just kind of like spreading that out so don't worry about it, it doesn't have to be um, uh, pretty but it just because you see how I, I did the green here I did that as a like a little like a, a foundation it just kind of gives you a little background on it so that's how I did it and then I add on top of it so yeah and what I did too is to give it a little more like a leaf realistic look I, I just kind of poke it to give like a rough surface again it's a matter of preference you don't have to do exactly the same or you don't have to that's fine like again it's just a matter of preference this is all about your creativity okay so what I did here let me show you so basically you I dip double dip with two red again I'm gonna do the both red so you saw me how I did that already I'm just gonna do two here okay I'm gonna move a little quickly if I could because it's a little cold today so the weather is a little bit cold so it does take a little longer to and the reason I like two shade of red because if you look at the leaf if when it has one red is so flat the color so flat but if you add if you add two shades of red then it just pops a little bit more so what I did it just I don't know if you can see it but this is how I do it so if I do it on here this is pretty much how you do it on a nail okay so Claire uh, Clara so it's the same techniques okay so basically I did it on the on the back of the nail form I always save my wax paper hmm? Move it forward a little bit, yeah. yeah you see that yeah okay yeah yeah okay um, you guys see that clearly so I want to show you how I did the so the the poinsettia and the leaf is about the same techniques it's really no different I mean the way you drag out a little bit I mean pretty much the same so you just flattening up I'm gonna do try to do two at the same time if I could so basically you just flat up and then you just kind of shape you know depend you see how I'm drag it you change the way the way it looks already so by flattening it and then just kind of pull it you know the, the end and the top a little bit differently it changed the way the flower look so 3d it just basically that's the basic basic technique is by using um, the, the, the brush mold them to however you spread them and the leaf will turn you see how I flat and how I just by you know flattening up a little bit to change the shape of the leaf or the flower yeah so like that and you definitely don't want to do it while it's shiny you want to mold them while it's kind of like you know kind of like matte a little bit that's when you know it's time to um, flattening it so lúc mà các bạn làm này á các bạn phải đợi lúc mà bỏ cái cục nó xuống phải đợi cái lá nó à, đừng có còn bóng lúc nó còn bóng là cái cái lá nó nó còn ướt ướt quá xong mình làm 3D mình shape nó không có được rồi so mình phải đợi cho nó hết cái bóng đó mình mới flat cái đó okay that's how you do it so you know okay I'm just gonna start out here first because I'm gonna I'm just starting out okay and then this is just the the flat part you see how the here I just this is just the flat part and then I'll raise and add that in later so by doing this I'm just kind of establish the flowers so because it's still kind of like wet I'm able to to add that to the it will lay down perfectly okay lúc màu nó còn ướt á là các bạn phải kéo nó lên liền vì không mình không có đợi cho nó khô ha mình đợi nó nó còn ướt nó còn phai vô lại ta so then I'm gonna add the, the the pearls the key here too you wanna add depth you wanna add depth then you definitely need pearls and you know me I love those so hôm nay em sẽ lấy cái pearl um, two flat pearl I have some flat pearl right here here em sẽ lấy hai cái 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 này cái pearl của em này nó có cái cái flat it's not round all the way and I have a smaller size too okay yeah 
mommy pick. Try to pick. Hi, so young. Hi, how are you? Okay, so let me. And I also use one of the pearl from this glitz collection that I we have it on the website as well. And I'm gonna use this white pearl. This gorgeous pearl right here. Oops, a little rounded. So, so these are the one that I use. Okay, so I'm I'm basically using three sizes: one, two, three. You know, for designing, it always start with odd number. So I'm gonna um, using clear powder from BCH as well, and then I'm gonna use that clear just to embed the. I mean, to attach the pearl. So I'm just gonna do that. Bỏ cái 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 clear. Lúc mà các bạn làm cái này, cái clear nó sẽ giữ giữ cái um, cái hột nó, cái pearl nó sẽ chắc hơn. Okay. okay I'll keep adding. If you guys have watching, you have any questions, let me know. This is not a good way to attach, you know, your crystal as well. But for me, when I do 3D, I always use acrylic because it just once it dry, it just set. That way it's a lot easier. I know it doesn't come together until you're done. So, cái này nó đẹp quá. Nó is a lot more work, but then it looks so pretty. It's like one of designer nail, you know. I don't. You can do a lot 3D in a salon. Let me know. Maybe I could. Let me know. So maybe next time when I prepare something, I will try to do something that that would help you. So it doesn't have to be close because later I'm gonna do all that. So approximately like that. I like little, um, even with pearl and crystal, when I put it on, I like little different uh, variation of sizes. So it just, um, you know, for the design look, it just gives a little depth, di different depth to it. So nó có cái góc độ khác nhau thì cái 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 design mình nó sẽ nổi và nó sẽ đẹp hơn ha. So em sẽ dùng ba cái này. Đó. So after that, this is then you keep doing. Then I'm gonna continue to add more. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I add more of the the design. Okay, so em sẽ làm hai cái một lượt. Thường thường làm này á, các bạn phải làm hai ba cái một lượt is easier. See, you keep doing that. See, I could do three. I don't know. Normally in a yeah. So, bây giờ em sẽ làm See? See when you don't And quên that with the paper So, lúc mà nó còn bóng vậy á Đừng có rờ nó, ok? Đừng có rờ, tại rờ nó sẽ When you, các bạn nó còn bóng mà mình mà rờ vô Là các bạn sẽ bỏ liquid vô trong cái đó Thì nó sẽ càng ướt nữa So, you don't wanna do that So, don't touch it when it's glossy like this Because the more you poke it Or touch it the monomer go back to the powder so then it's more runnier so you want to wait sort of almost like matte you know so then that's when you can uh, mold them okay so be your answer lamo can i do so i think this is the first one that i did so now see i always drag to a little side the length that i want and then i flatten it see and just flatten out as much you can and then just kind of then use the tip of the brush you know then shape them to the the leaf or the the flower that you like. The for the roses, you know, it's it's the same thing, but the way you shape the flowers and all that is slightly different. See, you see how it's sort of matte already. Then I press them. So yeah. Do you guys enjoy watching this? I don't know if you guys like this because I know I'm going with the 3D slightly slow for me because I have to explain and kind of do it at the same time. You know, if I'm doing this by myself, I, I move a lot quicker. But I'm trying to give you as much tip as possible so when you can do 3D work, when you don't, you know, if you watch this, try to watch this again when you do this so that way Clara said, I don't usually do 3D designs in the salon, but I had a client give me a challenge. She wanted a 3D bow. Thank oh. goodness I knew how to do that. I could have cried. <laughs> I know, 3D design is seriously, it's really nerve-wracking at the beginning and intimidating as well. But 
the more you do it the, 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 it gets easier so let's just say this and that the one thing about this kind of arrangement is that it doesn't have to be perfect because um, what I'm trying to tell you is that once you establish the leaf the way you you know when you put it on I think it's all about the creation of putting together so make sure your brush is slightly wet too when you do this so when you put it on let's see okay and to give them a little bit of depth we're gonna fold them Fold them. Trying to bend them a little bit. See, by bending it like that, it gives a little shape. You guys see it? It gives de definition and movement, movement to the leaf. I mean, to the poinsettia, and that's how you do it. Okay. So you keep adding on, and let's just say if you're a little slow on this one. You can use your finger as well. And then fold them and bend them. You see by by then it just kind of folded. So the first layer is kind of flat, then it gives you like a nice background and then as you put it on and you add another it gives a little movement to the flowers. See, so that, that's how it is. So em sẽ làm thêm một cái, um, let me do two more. Okay. And if you guys are really liking this design, remember to um, give this video um, either a thumbs up, give it a heart, maybe share it to maybe someone else that you know would love to see this. Um, we love sharing all of our videos and um, my mom loves doing and <laughs> giving all these tips to you guys. So if you guys want to continue seeing all these great designs, feel free to share it and um, or maybe tag someone who would love to see all these designs too, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I did this and then look with the leaf as well. Like, mail mà, the same techniques that you use, you do it on a nail. But cái này mình làm xong mình phô nó đó, mình bỏ nó lên thì mình phải làm khác chút xíu. But the cái cách mình đè cái bông đó, is the same. So the way you only, the only thing that you do differently here is that you transfer from this back of the form to the nail. But the technique of pressing into a flower is the same. Okay, so it doesn't matter. So when you do it on a flat, on a nail, then it just stay on a nail. You don't have to transfer it. But this one, because you have to, you know, add it, you know, designing the look as you go along. So you have to kind of have to know what you're doing. I don't recommend this look right, like try to do this right away. You know, try to work on a nail. And then when you work on a nail, another thing I want to let you pay, um, Understand too, when you work it on a nail, the temperature is slightly different, so it might dry a little quicker too, guys. So cái này em làm nó là trong cái giấy wax á, so it doesn't um, it doesn't have body heat, so it dry, it's slower. So that's too. Nadia said, beautiful. Mm, thank you. So yeah, I keep doing the same techniques. The reason I, I want to show you guys that the same techniques, it just you know how you mold them as you can see my working process is the same for um let me do one after this let me show you one more tip that i want to share with you if you work on a nail definitely you need um so let's just say i want right there okay You tuck it, you use, you could use tweezer, you can use, you know, tools, whatever you think. But you see how I did it? Just buy it, lay it, and press it down. The tip is still wet, you just press the tip. So then it's dead, lay down like that. So it, it adds, you know, twist and look to it. Let me put this one up. Okay, let's just say this is dry already. If it's dry already, you can easily add a little bit clear to where you want it let's just say add a little clear right there and then i hold this up you 
Let me use the tweezers. Because it is a little bit drier right, right now. But that's okay. It's, it's set. It's dry, but not that dry yet. So then you can still use it. So I press that down. And voila. And by folding it together, that's how you get the movement from the leaf. So that's how you put it together. You guys see that? You guys see, see how I did that? See? It's, if it's dry already, don't panic. Just fold them and then give to another movement and just add it gives you see how it looks so pretty like that okay and then from the leaf I definitely want to add one right there you know what let me see okay it's dry so then it's not it's not as easy to put on but it's still wet where I just use a little finger and you see how I bend them together when it's dry then it, it will stay into that shape like that. So then I just press it. So it gets a little movement, you see it? Every little movement to the leaf or the flowers, it gives definition and depth to the design. So don't worry, you know? Then all I do is wait for it. If it's a little bit dry, all I do is add a little clear before I attach it, that's it. But the key here, you don't want to wait your leaf too dry where, see how I bend them already? And I place it, it still gives you another definition of leaf. You see that? You see that closely? See how I bend? You see how I bend it earlier? And when I attach, it gives you really nice curvature and the leaves give movement. So then your design more realistic, even though you wear a nail. I know, I, my three, when I, I used to teach 3D class, it's one of my favorite class to teach because I, I know where you get frustrated and then I'm really good into break it down to small details where you guys, um, little tips like that. I, I find that it's really good for you guys when you get practicing 3Ds. Uh, on, somebody ask me questions. All right, um, Clara said so many good tips and thank you so much. I'm learning a lot already. <laughs> good. Um, Nadia, um, Nadia, Nadia. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but she asks, uh, what color acrylic and what brand are you using? All right, so um, DCH, yeah. the brand is DCH. The specific colors that um, she's using for the petals is Santa Baby, which is this really vibrant red. Oh. Um, and she also combines the Santa Baby with a um, more kind of like a hot pink, but kind of still red. That one's called Cherry Poppin. With the leaves, it's a combination of this neon green color, which is called Lime and the Coconut, as well as the olive color. And that one is no. called um, Olive R Twist. No, this is... Watermelon. Rind. Oh, this one. Sorry, this one's watermelon rind. Mm. So these are the two um, greens that we're using for the leaves, and those two for the reds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm continue to do the another leaf for you guys. Um, see here. I have to do a little quickly because, like I said, no, no, cold, not dry quickly. Um, The leaves, seriously, there's a lot of different ways to do it too, but I'm just trying to break it down as simple as possible. But as you move on, you know, there's a lot of ways to give the leaf definition and all that too, which seriously, you guys need. This is, if you're really into 3D design, just have to practice though. Find a good brush, find a good liquid and modern powder and just sit and play. That's not just, that yeah so yeah các bạn thấy em làm không em đè cái lá nó xuống ha thì nếu mà nó còn ướt á các bạn đè nó xuống nó sẽ không thấy viên cái ngấn nhưng mà các bạn mà đợi nó khô chút xíu see because my studio is slightly cool today because it's really cold today too so when it's kind of matte like this when you press on it you see the the definition of the brush on the powder so that's why, you know, it's better to wait for it to kind of mat a little bit. That's why it, it gives you more like, you know, definition on the leaf as well. 
and làm như vậy cho các bạn thấy rõ ha. Uh -huh. Any questions? Let me know. So I pick it up. Anything here? I'm gonna leave one here. Okay, this one. Look, if I point it and I press it down, look, see how it bend like that? Does it? I know it's so quick, but that's how I do it. You bend, you tip it down, and you bend it down while still wet. You can. It stays like that. And after this, I'm gonna show you how to add more clear powder to keep it attached, but that's how you do it, okay? And yeah. <laughs> okay, so, thank you, Em Hai Tinh. Thank you, Em. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I love this kind of look. You know me, if you follow on channel, I love this kind of look as well, because it's just very beautiful and very easy to do. It just really showcase your creativity and your work so see with this one like that and by move by changing while still wet you see how i i can bend them and make into a, the movement of the flower see well, it's really quick pretty 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 see so festive yeah so now, let's like just say you're done with all 3D, right? And you look at overall picture. What else can I add in to make the, the design look? And that's where your creativity really come in. Then you have to bring props, just like, you know, uh, designing your house. You have to bring little props here and there. So same thing with nail art. I find that you have to bring glitters or beads or things like that. So when i done with all this, then that's when I kind of dress it up a little bit more. So, what I do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the um, uh, the beads here. I'm gonna use the beads here. I'm gonna use just like a really clear, like a top coat uh, beads. I'm gonna add all the beads in here too. So basically, I just add that. I'm using like a, you know, like a base and top. You could use top. And then just add the beads in. That's the quickest way to do it. And you see, it adds pops of color into it. See it? And then I'm gonna do the same. See it's right here. And now that I see that, I wanna add a little bit more of the stone in there. So I'm gonna add a little crystal. Okay, I'm gonna add a little crystal and same thing I'm just gonna put a little bit clear powder anytime the bead it doesn't dry I mean I need the gel to grab on but the crystal I want to set right away so I'm just gonna add that right there and this way by doing this you add more clear to the that way everything gonna stay attached a lot longer too so you uh, you dressing it up but at the same time that's how you keep everything stay together you see it it adds little pops to it you see and now what you go back you see all the edges here all the edges you add you have to add all the clear powder around it if you're gonna have this look on yourself or on client you need to add clear so that way the clear will help you know and one thing about the clear once it dries it's so clear and then you put the top coat on you won't see the the powder look so don't worry about it and even on the side here you need to add clear because if i use a lot of green powder then my leaf is going to be so thick that the leaf doesn't look as as you say thin as I want so biting at the clear it helps to keep the leaf strong and it doesn't change in the way it looks so that's how you keep everything together so I keep going around add clear to the edges okay that's how you do it and even the one that I fold them I tuck I add more clear underneath as well so that's how I keep everything together especially here you see how I have a little bit of the gap right underneath you need to put that clear un right underneath as well because when someone wear this 
this is where it's gonna crack first so by adding the clear you don't see it but then at that way you you see now you don't see the gap right there anymore okay and that's how you do it so I'm trying to give you a lot of tips how to create a design and how to keep a design on your client or on yourself if you can follow my work you know that I do a lot of um, I wear a lot of 3ds myself so all this is by my experience with wearing it and that's how I learned it so now I'm sharing it to you guys so I hope you can really like it see so that's it and that's how you put everything together hello and you and you're watching us <laughs> <cười> Hi Trang, how are you? Uh, yeah, okay. So các bạn thấy không là xong rồi đó. That's it. This is pretty cool, right, guys? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. So những cái uh, sản phẩm mà các bạn thích thì uh, uh, I mean, if you can, um, like I said, I'm using DCH, so it's really the color so vibrant and it's so pigmented that you really need a good powder. I mean, if you don't use DCH, you really need a you need to use a good pigmented acrylic powder because if you don't use dipping powder because dipping powder is too fine so when you do 3d art it's too fine so it takes a lot longer to set so try to use acrylic really good acrylic um, um, you know system so then you can play with it and get used to it uh, Paige say love your flowers thank you so much so if you guys don't have any more questions, um, this is it, right? I no, hope you can. Really oh, pretty. yeah. So okay, let me. I forgot before we go on. Like okay, so this you know how I started off. I didn't put the top, the the gloss on. I did that for this reason because now that I have already, you know, done my work. So I like to do that last because everything I seal gonna be last because, look now. Okay. I'm just gonna do it slowly so you guys can see this. So now I'm just gonna. Hi, do Andrew. Hi. <laughs> oh, <he's laughs> your friend. <laughs> okay, so this is yes, yeah, so see. Now I'm doing the cap right. So this is how you do it. Once you do the clear on everything, now you can cap with the top coat on the side. So then your clear will not showing up because it will be trans transparent, look clear. So then that's why it's it's important to have a good clear. Okay really good clear like a very crystal clear so when you do this with the gloss the clear will pop up and that way everything looks seamless and thin as well okay so for the pro i suggest you guys put the top coat on the pro because you know as you wear them it gets scratches and all that so but this won't and then i'll suggest you know how i put the base on a little bit earlier now i'm just slightly dab the top on it so that way it kind of cure but at once and it sealed everything and then if you guys really you know have time i know in the salon sometimes you take a lot of time but if you have time do this too just the edges just the one that is popped just on the edge okay guys not on top of the flower just on the edge of the leaf then what it does it just kind of pop it gives illusion of highlighting so then the design look much better it's like a little details that no one pay attention but it's really add to the details like sometimes you 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 look at it you like you know you like it but you don't know why this is what i do i pay too little attention like this so your design makes a lot better see would you like to go on a class to learn this kind of stuff i would because I, I find that it's really i don't know it's very satisfying when you put everything together so now i'm going to cure this for one minute yeah so did you guys <laughs> like the video did you guys like the design let us know in the comments down below um we'll probably be coming up with a couple more christmas designs for um this month so if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever please feel free to put down in the comments and if you guys love watching this video please share the video we'd love to sh uh, give other people um our tips so and if you don't ever want to miss out on a video, um, Facebook will allow you to push the notifications so that you'll never miss a video anytime we are live. So make sure to do that. Hi, say hi, hi Lee. Say hi to your auntie. Hi, Auntie Lee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Okay. Um, 
um, làm nữa đi chị oh my god Claire are you sure it's been a long video already <laughs> but yeah no let's come back next week uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do next week so next Monday please tune back uh, thứ hai tuần sau em sẽ trở lại làm thêm một kiểu design nữa cho Christmas designer and I don't know what to do yet but I think I'm gonna Uh, let you guys decide what you guys want me, want me to do next week but yeah uh, come back next week uh, 6 giờ rưỡi tuần sau nha các bạn giờ Cali nha để em sẽ chia sẻ thêm một các bạn một cái video so cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi chương trình nhờ, nếu mà các bạn thích những sản phẩm này xong the sản phẩm em có thì có bán trên The Nail Tip Shop The Nail Tip Shop com thì các bạn có thích thì các bạn có thể lên cái website để coi uh, những sản phẩm nào em có bán trên đó thì các bạn có thể thấy trên đó còn uh, không thôi thì Cảm ơn các bạn. Have a good night and thank you so much for watching and um, be sure to come back with us next week on at 6.30. Hopefully, we try to stay between 6.30 and 6.45. So, okay guys, thank you so much and put more requests if you can want to see something uh, next week. Okay, good night everyone. Bye! Baby. <laughs> Daddy, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> We are live from Facebook. Three, two, one, action! <laughs> Thank you, Timmy.